Hey guys, Urbanized Dreams here, and today we're going to be doing a video on that red E86 Troweno. Uh, this is a JD Toys 124 scale model, and we're going to be bringing it out and uh, looking more deeply into how this model looks. Before we start with the actual model, uh, this is the box it comes with. So uh, this is the import racer line, and uh, I bought this brand new, it was originally sealed, which is always really cool. This model in general is very, very hard to find, and uh, the box is also good condition, apart from it has a bit of a yellowing, which uh, sometimes it happens depending on where people keep these models. So yeah, that's the box. Uh, so yeah, this model is brand new, very rare model. This is the second time in my life that I have it, because I had it originally, then I sold my Jadas to invest into more high-end, premium quality models until I figured out, you know what, I'm paying all this crazy money for these models that don't bring me much joy because you can't do anything with them, they're too expensive and I don't really see what I'm getting more more out of apart from realism, which I mean I can just buy the real car for realism. So I went back to Jada because I just find that these are way more fun and uh, it's really fun just to try to collect them because I, I only buy these brand new. So it's really fun to try to find these brand new on eBay and things like that. And I mean, I got this one locally on uh, Kijiji, which Kijiji, if you guys are from the States, it's like Craigslist. So from a local seller and uh, it was really cool. And uh, it's kind of fun to meet people too and hear the backstories of how they have these and stuff. So this is one of my favorite ones uh, for Jada toys in 124. And this is the E86. The E86 actually only came in two liveries. It came in this one in the import racer and then it came in the initial D uh, livery and I will do the initial D livery uh, in a more in-depth video in the future but uh, maybe near the end I'll bring the initial D just to show the comparisons uh, but I want to do the initial D 124s all together like all four of them together so that's the side profile as you've been seeing here uh, beautiful 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 livery I love the drifting here uh, how they did the drifting magazine beautiful gorgeous model now this is the front again great detail for I mean this you gotta remember this is a $15 model back in the day I mean now they go for over a hundred dollars uh, I don't have a problem paying that money for this uh, I think they're worth it but I mean back in the day it's just crazy that this is what you used to get in 2005 and things like that like for $15 this is the other side uh, nice thing is that instead of doing the lazy flip they redid the livery to make it so it's not reverse You'll see some Jadas in my video in the future that they have it uh, re reversed, so it's a bit messed up. But yeah, great, looks great here also. Now this is the back side. Beautiful, and actually, you know, speaking of, uh, so I'm, in, I'm from Canada, and uh, actually today I saw a red, uh, when I was driving back from uh, where I was, I saw a red A86 Toronto actually drive past me. Uh, going the other way and I was like, oh, no way. No, it actually looked like, uh, hold up, it, it looked like this one. Apart from the rims, but it looked like that model. Like with uh, the red panda. So really cool, I wish I wish he was driving my way. I would have I would have uh, talked to him. Well, I wouldn't talk to him, I would have waved him down and gave him a thumbs up. So yeah, anyways, back to the re uh, reverse here. So yeah, you got the nice uh, exhaust. Uh, you got some more like decals here. And uh, I like how, you know, JD used to have all these decals because if you guys know, Jada is doing JDM tuners now, but it's lacking this much attention to detail. And you have to, uh, there's a reason why, right? I mean, first off, they, they're trying to keep a price point. And today it's expensive, right? It's more expensive to do these kind of things. And also all these licenses like Toyo tires and, you know, there's Castrol and all this stuff. You have to actually pay the companies to do all the licensing. So it's not that easy. You can't just like put a company's uh, logo on it, like Toyos and things like that, without getting their uh, permission or uh, Tokiko and stuff like that. So, it you know the market's completely different nowadays. So you can't really do that stuff. But uh, the, so that's kind of why their their JDM tuners line's a bit basic. But to tell, you, to tell you the truth, I still want to get the JDM tuners line because there's a lot of castings that they didn't get a chance to do back in the day. Like, you know, they've been doing now the Miata, the EK9 Civics, the Integras. Um, there's a whole bunch of cool cars. So I definitely want to pick those up, but I'm right now I'm investing all my money on getting the ones I want for Import Racer from the, the older era, Import Racer and Option D, and the initial D ones. So anyways, all these parts here are opening. Uh, so let's drop the trunk. Uh, the trunk doesn't stay up. Now, actually, just so you guys know, if you have Jada, if the trunk doesn't stay up, for example, 
Uh, all you have to do is uh, open the model up from underneath. Oh yeah, I forgot to show the underbody. So, you know, it's pretty basic. Um, you got the exhaust there. But uh, what you do is you open the model up completely like from the screws here and uh, you can actually adjust the hinges so that they're either uh, harder to open or easier to open so I, I, for me it didn't really bother me because I, I never I'm never gonna open it and keep it like that but yeah you can adjust it and then yeah that's the trunk you got like I think that's a big amp or something I don't even know what that is and then there's something else there not sure what that is uh, and then let's do the engine bay <laughs> one second let me shut up see the engine bay uh, the trunk is very uh, it's very hard to open. Okay, hold up, hold up. Sorry, sorry guys. Uh, okay, I got it open. So this here is the trunk or the hood opened. And uh, nice thing about the hood here, sorry, I'm just putting the gloves back on, is that there's still a lot of attention to detail. So sometimes with the 124, they're painted inside, or sometimes there's just left chrome. So in this case, it's left chrome. But the nice thing is that you can see it has uh, extra detail here. Uh, I guess it's like what this, I don't know what that is, cylinder heads, I don't know what that is. But it's like the actual individual wiring pieces there. So it's a very nice uh, attention to detail there, if you can see it. So yeah, very nice. Uh, and you, you'll see, uh, I'll compare the AE86, the initial D1 at the end, and uh, it actually doesn't have that extra detail there. And I'll explain to you why later. So, uh, interior, both the doors open, of course. The passenger side, it's, it's nice, has, has the kind of racing bucket seat. And then you have the, um, uh, like the foot uh, backing. I forget what it's called officially. It's actually, it's meant for if you have like a passenger and when you're on a racetrack, so they can put pressure there with their feet because usually when they do hard braking and things like that, you want to put more force there. And then uh, driver's side, you get the steering wheel. Got the details there in the pedals. You got the nice uh, shift knob there, uh, handbrake, and you got a uh, roll cage. And this is really amazing. I mean, for the time, to in a 124 scale to have so much detail. And I mean, there's other Jadas in 124 that have even more detail than this. So it's crazy. So uh, yeah, very nice. And um, let me uh, show you the seat better. I'll, I'll try here. So you kind of see there. Second. Uh, it has even like the the seat belts uh, and then uh, PlayStation controller there if you can kind of see it so yeah great great detail on these models definitely so overall really cool and uh, I'll show you right here this is the initial D1 uh, also from Jada 124 but as like I was saying the engine uh, bay doesn't have that uh, separation there in the uh, engine compartment and uh, you know, with the initial D1s, they, they kind of went a bit plain on the engine base just because you have to remember the licensing for initial D is expensive, hence why it's like that. But uh, you can kind of see them both here like that. There you go. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful model. One of my favorites and um, highly suggest uh, going after this one. I mean, if you want an 886 from Jada, this is really, there's only the two options. And there's also the JDM tuner lineup now. Uh, but the A86 doesn't look as good as the original release, which uh, is also pretty pricey actually. And then uh, uh, the, the, a little bit less detail compared to the Import Racer, but uh, like I said, the, the, the licensing is very expensive there. So anyways, that's it for this video guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, take care.